So today we are going to discuss about the topic Biodiversity Classification and Conservation What is meant by biodiversity? Biodiversity. Bio means life, diversity means like uh, an English word, diversity, variation, different uh, forms. So different forms of life. Biodiversity, various fo forms of life. Form of life, when we talk about the forms of life, then uh, something in our mind in biology we uh, like we talk about the different types of uh, species in a particular habitat how many species we have in a particular area and uh, and you know what is species species is a group of organisms uh, which are living together in a particular place so biodiversity means uh, an area or a community where different organisms uh, can exist for their survival, I mean for their food and for their shelter, for their transfer of energy to make a complex uh, ecosystem. So biodiversity means various forms of life. So various forms of life have three different levels. We discuss biodiversity in three different levels. I mean biodiversity variation, variant, variant forms, either it may be in the form of a species, I mean in the sense of phenotype or uh, maybe in the form of a gene pool. Uh, if there are a lot of gene pool, a lot of gene flow, then we say that's a big genetic diversity because we have a different types of gene. Each organism have a different genome. And uh, yes, sometimes we not only talk about the species and genes, but we also talk about the ecological features like uh, uh, what about the impact of uh, light intensity, carbon dioxide, availability of oxygen, availability of water in the soil, and so many other factors can also interact the uh, diversity of an area. So we, we, we say that there are three different levels of biodiversity. So the levels of biodiversity we have normally three levels of biodiversity. One is called species diversity. Species diversity. Next one genetic diversity and the third one is the ecological 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 diversity so we have three levels of the biodiversity i mean if there's an area and we, in that area we have a lot of species it means it has a big diversity as compared to those area where we have limited number of species. Keep in mind, when I would use the word species, species means a group of organisms uh, like of same kind. I mean, I'm just uh, talking about the uh, sunflower. So sunflower is one of a particular species, cat, onion. And all these are species and they have different varieties then. Like if you talk about the cat, so cat is a species, but there's a Persian cat, Siamese cat, Burmese cat. These are varieties. So a species is normally, uh, we, 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 there are different types of species in a particular place. We have that it has a big uh, uh, biodiversity in the sense of species diversity. Suppose we have two different uh, community, like community, community community a and community community b and here we say like the uh, number of species 
number of species. Let's suppose we have species A, species B, species C, and species D, and species E of different. So all these species makes usually a community. So and that's why in community. So all these collectively make a community. A, a community is, is you know, a group of different species which are living together for their food and shelter. So here, like in community A, we have species A, which is only 10. I mean, 10 individuals of species A. Similarly, community B is 5, C is 12, D is 8, and E is 5. So it means we have uh, all these five species exist in community A irrespective from their numbers. I mean, we say like there are 10 individual of A. We are not talking about the number of individual. We just talk about either it exists or not. Yeah, it is. It, it, it is existing here. So yes, species A is present. So species A is present here, 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 here. So all these five species are present in community A. Now, if we consider this with community B, let's talk about here it is nine, right, it is six. It is 39, here is O, I mean it's also 0. Now in community B we have only 3 species and the 2 species remain absent. What basically we think about that? Like if you talk about species A, present, present, B, present, present, C, present, present, D, present, absent, E. So now, now guess, what about the biodiversity? Do you think the biodiversity of community A is greater or lower than community B? Now we have two options for that. Might be you are thinking about that community A has a greater species diversity because it consists of five species and it consists of only three species. We, we do not give any weightage to the number of individuals. It may be thousands or it may be one have the same weightage, it present or absent. So we say that community A and community B at this time have, you know, the number of species are different. But if we count all these species together, so 10, 5, 15, 27, then uh, 35 and 5, this means 40 species. A total, this is called total abundance. You know, total abundance. And this is 9, 6, 15 plus 39, so I think it's 54. This is the, you know, this is the total, total abundance, total, total abundance, total abundance. So total abundance is greater in community B, which is lower in community A. However, we cannot decide here on the basis of abundance or on the basis of, you know, total number of species. So whenever you say total number of species, then we talk about species richness. So we say species richness is five here in community A. One, two, three, four, five. So species richness five here. One, two, three, species richness three only three species. So whenever you want to calculate the species diversity, two things should be considered, species richness and total abundance. Now, you, you can understand these things. So we say like, we say like species, species density, I mean species diversity, species diversity has two furthermore features that is species richness and the second one is 